Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing and renewing and regenerating system a miracle. It really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010. Let us show you how simple and how easy and how logical reversing your long-term health challenge can be by getting on a good nutritional supplement program, by changing the way you eat, by changing the way we live our lives. Our illnesses are responses. The body is always responding. The body is always intelligent. It responds to its environment, its external environment and its internal environment. And what we call illness is nothing more than responses. The body is responsible. We are responsible. We respond to our environment. Our body responds to the environment. And illness is not an aberration. It's not a mistake, it's a response. That's so fundamental, you guys. Illness is not a weird thing, it's not a mistake. It's not a screw up, it's the body responding to something, which means all we gotta do is figure out what it's responding to and change it. It's as simple as that, it really, really is as simple as that. If you're dealing with hypertension or you're dealing with autoimmune problems or cardiovascular disease, hypothyroidism, I encourage you to give us a call at 844-236-6010. Let's show you how this whole thing works. How you can get on a good nutritional supplement program, how you can deconstruct your health challenge without drugs, without doctors, without prescriptions, without pharmacists, without insurance companies, from the comfort of our own living rooms. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised, recommended on the bright side, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase Longevity products right off the website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got news stories and blog posts, as well as all the Longevity products, and a join the team link if you want to join me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you want to start a Longevity business, or even if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price for a one-time $25 fee, You can be in business for yourself and help change the world with the power of nutrition. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. The testimonials are coming in fast and furious as, uh, as we sell more and more product at Truth Treatments. People getting results like better skin tone, plumper skin, Healed skin for folks who are dealing with acne blemishes. Our retinol 5% gel is the go-to anti-acne treatment. Also great for hyperpigmentation. All our Truth Treatment products are available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okie doke, we're talking uh, cortisol, cholesterol. Healing principle number one. Where you think the problem is, is not where the problem is. Or at least it's not where the problem begins. Where we see the problem is not where the problem begins. That's healing principle number one. If you're trying to treat your illness by treating where you see the problem, it still doesn't help. 
at best, you can maybe force the body into being asymptomatic temporarily, reducing symptoms, but your problems are going to come back if you don't address the problem where the problem begins. That's healing principle number one. I talked to my friend Nancy yesterday. She had, um, has these kind of blockages in her tear ducts, okay? And this is not uncommon. Blockages in tear ducts. Say, what am I going to do? I got blockages in the tear ducts. Well, obviously, there's nothing the doctor can do. He can't go in there and unblock your tear ducts. So the question becomes, how do tear ducts become blocked? Well, tear ducts are part of the body's fluid system, and the master fluid system is the blood. All the, all the uh, smaller fluid systems, like the tear ducts and the bile system, for example, and the sweat glands also, to a certain extent, all of these come off of the blood. When you have tear duct problems, you have blood problems. When you have clogged bile ducts, you have blood problems. When you have kidney stones, you have blood problems. When you have blockages anywhere, you have blood problems. It's not the blockage that needs to be addressed. It's the blood problem. So I told my friend Nancy, well, how, she hadn't heard, this was kind of new to her. She said, you got blood problems. She says, okay, what, what does that mean? How do I take care of that? Well, how do things get into the blood? Are you sticking them in through your skin? Are you shooting up, are you shooting up in the back alley? Probably not. Are you breathing it in? Well, maybe to a certain extent, but by far and away, the most likely place where things get into the blood to cause this kind of sludginess that leads to the blockages is through the digestive system. So I tell Nancy that she says, oh yeah, I've had digestive problems my whole life. Well, no kidding. That's how it works. I'm not making this up. This is how it works. I'm a psychic. I don't just know this because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a wizard. It's just logical once you understand the body. It's crazy. You know, 5% of consumers spend 50% of the health dollars of our trillion, 1.6 or $1.8 trillion, nearly $2 trillion in healthcare costs. 5% of consumers, I heard this statistic today from a lady who works at Kaiser, Kaiser Management. What does this have to do with cortisol and cholesterol and, all, and our topic? Everything. Because cortisol and uh, elevated stress hormone is behind all health challenges because this sluggishness in the blood, this dirtiness in the blood initiates emergency response. The blood becomes sludgy and emergency response is initiated. And when this happens chronically, you get a chronic emergency response. Cortisol, steroid, stress hormone they call it. I call it life management hormone. It's a steroid hormone. And as all biochemists know, and as you guys know, if you've been listening to this program, Cortisol is so-called building block for all the steroid hormones. I don't even like saying that because that marginalizes it. It doesn't say how important cortisol, uh, co cholesterol is. Cholesterol is cortisol with a little bit of a tweak to it. You could think of tinker toys, just like that's how chemistry is. I know I said it before. I'll say it again. It's really important because we get all thrown off by the seemingly complicated, convoluted science of chemistry. It's not complicated. It's tinker toys. It's like kid's toy. It's just shapes. It's all chemistry is just shapes. Cholesterol is a basic tinker toy shape, and then you stick little various pieces on the tinker toy shape, and you get the various different steroid hormones, and you get vitamin D, and you get um, bile. That's very interesting right there. You get bile out of cholesterol. The steroid hormones are drugs. They're the, they're the major class of chemicals in the body, and they're the most important, arguably, the most important pharmaceutical class of medications, either drugs that are steroids themselves or drugs that control steroids? 30 of the top 300 drugs, 10% of the drugs, 10% uh, of the top 300 drugs that we use are drugs that affect the steroid system or are steroids themselves. Just Lipitor alone, just Lipitor alone, a steroid modifying drug, statin drug, is $12 billion a year in sales. Just one drug. Is there any wonder why we're bombarded with this propaganda? Statin mania, statin propaganda, cholesterol propaganda, despite all evidence and logic, not just evidence, but logic, biochemical logic to the contrary. If you understand what I said just now about cholesterol being a vital building block, you see how crazy it is. And by the way, this uh, uh, ridiculous amount of dollars we're spending on prescription, on, on steroid drugs doesn't include the non-prescription, the illegal ones, the illegal anabolic steroids, $400 million a year spent in illegal steroids by a million Americans. All right, we're going to do a little math when we come back from our break, and it's going to be very interesting. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after. One. Okay, we are back 
on the bright side, got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. I am Pharmacist Ben, and you're listening to The Bright Side. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can also purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. I was just in Sacramento uh, last week doing talks for my team, and I can come to your town as well. And we can build a business together. And at the same time, make the world a better place. That's a win-win, folks. If you're interested in, and, and if you're an entrepreneur and you appreciate the entrepreneur lifestyle, this is a business that you at least want to look into. Call 844 uh, call 866-735-2470 for more info. That's 866-735-2470 for more information. Okay, so we are bombarded with propaganda about the uh, uh, about the cholesterol hypothesis and statin drugs as a treatment for heart disease, so much so that they want to give it preventatively, just in case. There are even physicians who want to put it in the water supply. It's become a meme, a mind virus that has gone on to spread itself virally by itself at this point, where people just tell other people and doctors tell other doctors and doctors tell their patients and it just gets spread. And nobody thinks about it. This is the classic quintessential example of a mind virus. It spreads despite the fact that uh, the vector, us, the spreaders of the virus, do not benefit. In fact, it's a statin drug, so it's technically it's a poison. And what, what is the reasoning for all this? Here's a little math for you, okay? In a bottle of 100 Lipitor, picking on Lipitor here, you got, we'll say, 10 milligram strength Lipitor, right? In a bottle of 100, 100 times 10 milligrams, you get a gram right? A gram of medicine. That means there's one gram of medicine, one gram of active material in a bottle of 100 10 milligram Lipitor that goes for ultimately around somewhere around 1500 bucks. $1,500 a gram. And that is mostly profit. Almost all profit. Drug companies are selling their wares for 1500 bucks a gram. That's $7,500 a teaspoon. What the heck? What goes for $7,500 a teaspoon? It's almost all profit, and they're making the stuff by the ton. A ton is like a million grams, or 200,000 teaspoons, a little less. Call it 200,000 teaspoons. That's 200,000 teaspoons times $7,500 of profit. That's $1.4 billion of profit per ton. And they're making hundreds, if not thousands of tons of this stuff. You see, the numbers that we're talking about here, a profit, there's no industry like this on the planet. And this is what Obamacare is about, by the way. And this is what national health insurance is about. It's about drug companies lobbying to get more people using their drugs. This is so unfair. It is so mean. It is so anti-human being and anti-humanity. Now, I'm not saying I'm not blaming doctors, I'm not blaming pharmacists, I'm not blaming anybody. I'm just telling you this is how the situation is. And if you're on a prescription drug and it's not helping you and you don't know why you're taking it, you're just, as Doc Wallach says, an ATM machine. They're using you as an ATM machine, a living, breathing, walking ATM machine. Except you're not a machine. You get side effects and toxicity, which ironically you get more drugs for, or not ironically. All right, so cholesterol is a stress management substance. It's a life management substance, actually, because of this link to steroid hormones. When the body's in duress, it makes more cholesterol. When it's growing, it's making more cholesterol. When it's repairing, building, it's making more cholesterol. When there's chronic immunity or uh, chronic immune response, chronic inflammatory response, it's going to make more cholesterol. When the blood sugar is elevated, it's going to make more cholesterol. Hypercholesterolemia, that is too much cholesterol in the blood, is thus a sign of all of these things, growing, repairing, building, duress, sugar, Immunity, inflammation, that's what's causing the cholesterol to go up. And then when you get heart disease, the cholesterol gets blamed. No, the cholesterol is there as a, as a, as a uh, duress management chemical. The heart disease is part of the duress. It's not the cholesterol. 
It's the sugar, and it's the uh, uh, immunity, and it's the inflammation, and it's the psychological duress, and it's the hypothyroidism, the slowing down thyroid. We said this before. I'll say it again. Hypothyroidism is like a synonym for too much cholesterol in the blood. They go hand in hand. Blood sugar elevations and too much cholesterol go hand in hand. Stresses of all kinds and elevated cholesterol go hand in hand, and it's all of these that lead to the heart disease. And the medical components sees uh, the medical um, uh, the medical model sees this sees this component of the heart disease, and not the underlying soil, the messed up blood sugar, the inflammation, the hypothyroidism, the psychological duress. They see the elevated cholesterol, and rather than fixing it at the level of the soil and eliminating the cause of the elevated cholesterol. The medical model sees fit to literally poison the cells that make the cholesterol. I'm not going to candy coat it. That's exactly what they do. They poison the cells that make the cholesterol. Euphemistically, they'll say, uh, euphemistically, they'll say HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor. That's what they call statin drugs, euphemistically. They call it an inhibitor. HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor. That's the class of drugs that statin drugs are. Who, who's going to understand that unless you're a chemist, right? Unless you're a biochemist. Well, all you need to hear is the word inhibitor. HMG-CoA reductase is just an enzyme. You, the uh, operative word here is inhibitor. Statin drugs are inhibitors. Forget the HMG-CoA reductase gobbledygook. That's just the name of an enzyme. All we need to know about the poisonous nature of a statin drug is the inhibiting part. How do you think inhibitors work? Whenever you hear inhibitor or anti or blocker, you're talking about a poison, suppressing, shutting down, impairing the function of. Merriam-Webster, this is a definition from Merriam-Webster for poison. A substance that through its chemical action usually kills, injured, or impairs an organism. Impair meaning suppress, ultimately injuring and killing. That is the very definition of a drug, an inhibitor. A HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor or statin drug. This craziness, it's not the cholesterol, people. This is why, even though we have a cholesterol hypothesis that we seem to be entranced by, the idea that elevated cholesterol is the cause of heart disease, this is why it's never been shown in all these years. It's never been proven. It's never been consistently demonstrated that lowering cholesterol prevents heart attacks. Because it's not the cholesterol. If it was the cholesterol, we would know it by now with all the statin drugs and all the people on the low cholesterol diet. Hopefully nobody believes that idiocy anymore. The low cholesterol diet. So anyway, in other, what we're talking here, in other words, while the drugs clearly and demonstrably are, tox are poisons and deadly, ultimately their ther therapeutic benefits remain dubious at best. If you're using a statin drug and you're not questioning why, really questioning why, based on what I've just talked about. By the way, I have a standing, open invitation, standing invitation to any doctor who prescribes statin drugs or anybody who believes in the importance of statin drugs to come on this program and talk about it. Because I don't like talking behind anybody's back. I wish they would come on and talk about it. Or if you're out there and you're listening, doubtful. But if you are listening and you don't believe what I'm saying, I would love you to come on this program. We could have a discussion about it in public. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll Okay, we are back on the bright side, and we have lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. Get your calls here in just a sec, so if you're on hold, hang tight. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Treatment products, head to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Take a specially long look at our retinol. 5% gel, as well as our retinol, or our Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. All our Truth treatment products are without preservatives or fragrances or fillers or waxes. may look like they cost a lot of money, and they do, actually, when you first make your purchase, but they last so long because you only use tiny little bits, and you really get changes in your skin. You know, it's kind of funny because... Folks don't mind spending 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 or $100 on an ounce or two ounces of, or four ounces of a product. But when you factor in, take into account the fact that there's 90% of the stuff is water 
and 95% of the stuff is water and wax and filler and preservative and stuff that doesn't do you any good, you're really paying for nothing. You're paying for a couple of drops of, of active material, if that. And usually it's just some kind of oil or herb or plant. Contrast that with our true treatment products, which are 100% active and functional. And when I talk about active, I'm talking about the most important active ingredients there are. Vitamin C and retinol. They're all up at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. We actually even have a uh, trial size on our Truth Transdermal C Serum. Voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar Magazine. We've got a trial size available for $39. Also trial size on our Truth Balm for $59. So you can check them out inexpensively. And then when you purchase them, you may have to shell out a little bit of cash. But they're going to last you for months. And you're really going to be making changes in your skin. All right, 844-236-6010. Let's uh, read this. Uh, let's see here. From uh, a couple stories. American Journal of Geriatric Psychi- Psychiatry. Curcumin improves memory and mood. Curcumin from turmeric, which I absolutely positively love. Turmeric is a, a ginger-like root that contains the stuff called curcumin. Curcumin is... It's hard to really say all the things curcumin does. Just know it's great for you. You can make your own curcumin drinks. Curcumin is, uh, is fat-soluble, so you want to put it into some kind of oil or coconut, but, uh, coconut milk or almond milk. It's delicious in almond milk with cinnamon and ginger, to which it is related. In a test that was done on 40 subjects, the people uh, divided up into folks who took curcumin and folks who didn't. The people who took curcumin experienced significant improvements in their memory and attention abilities, while the subjects who received the placebo did not. So in addition to being very important for the immune system, for the digestive system, it's also important for the brain and for mood and memory. And that's from the American Journal of Clinic of uh, uh, Journal of Geriatric Psychiatry. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to the bright side. Let's go to Canada. Canada. British Columbia. Hey, what's up, Clayton? Love BC. Where are you in BC? A place called Penticton, which is about uh, four hours east of Vancouver in the Okanagan Valley. And it uh, must be beautiful out there. I can only imagine. It really is. Yeah, absolutely. Good deal. So what's going on today? Uh, I would like to know if you've heard of a uh, therapeutic blood uh, detox called apheresis. Apheresis. Now, yeah. that's, a pro- that's a process, I imagine, right? It's not a name of a drug or a name of a... No, no, of- no. It's, uh, it's a process where they uh, obviously... Uh, uh, they hook you up to a machine that uh, circulates your blood and cleans it out. And I wanted to know if you've ever it's heard not of chel- it. Is it a chelation deal? It's not chelation, no. How do they, do they filter the blood? or? Yes, they filter the blood, and apparently it's supposed to take out... Sounds like every- a little Frankenstein-ish to me. A little well, Frankenstein it, it, monster-ish. It, it's done uh, all over the world. It's done in your country, my country, uh, Germany. I can, s- I can see why it would work. I mean, I have all, you, you've heard me talking before about dirty blood, I'm sure. Right. So any, anything you do that cleans the blood is going to be, you know, it's going to have a benefit. Um, apheresis, I guess, I, is like plasmapheresis. I've heard of that. Yeah, um, but they yeah. use a therapeutic uh, detox. In the yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. okay, it makes sense. They centrifuge, centrifuge the blood and clean it out, probably. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I can kind of see it making sense, but, I mean, it sounds like a lot of work to do. But, yeah, it, it probably is not a bad idea. I. I've heard of stuff like it. I haven't heard of it, aphoresis, literally, but uh, I know what you're talking about. And it's probably not a bad idea, but there seems like, it seems like just a little convoluted. A little, uh, you, anytime you have to go outside to a doctor or a naturopath or a person, somebody to do the work for you, I'm a little skeptical. I think, people, I think we should be able to carry our own water. That's just my, my uh, take on it. Listen, if you've if you got digestive problems, you're eating the wrong foods, you're eating a lot of sugar, and then you do the aphoresis, your blood's going to get dirty again. Right. So, yeah, you know what I mean? So maybe in the short term, chelation. I do like chelation. That's a little bit easier. Chelation therapy, that's what I would be doing. I've, I've done that. I've actually had about uh, 40 treatments over the last few years. Hey, what do you think? Uh, well, I love it. I, uh, I had very high uh, levels of lead, and it really, really brought it down quite a bit. Good deal. Good deal. Now, that I'm a big believer in. I've seen some great stuff. I have not had it done in a while myself, but... I think I'm going to start doing it on a regular basis. I have friends in their 80s and 90s, actually a couple of physician friends in their 80s, 
who uh, do it regularly, and they look great, and they swear by it. And I can see why, because that, that logically makes a lot of sense. Remember, it's all about dirty blood. Anything you do to clean the blood is going to be to your advantage. Filtering it through apheresis sounds a little complicated, but it's probably not a bad idea. What else you got for us? Uh, stem cells and extended fasting. Extended fasting? Yeah, no, yeah uh, the relationship uh, between the two or yeah. two separate... Yeah, the uh, the relationship between the two is such that you when you when you do extended fasting, your body doesn't have to work as hard, your stem cells don't have to divide as much. Everything slows down, so you get keep more resources. You know, once the stem cells divide, once they commit to being a, a certain type of cell, then they're on the way to mortality. Loss of stem cells is associated with uh, is associated with uh, aging, with the aging process. So anything you do to calm the body down, which is what fasting does, and uh, uh, ultimately, it will have a, a kind of calming down effect on the stem cells as well, and that's always in your anti-aging interest. So, yes, they are absolutely related. Okay, great. Intermittent job. fasting, that's the way to go. Once in a while, once a month, once a week, once every couple of weeks. Thanks, Clayton. Appreciate Thank it. You. Have a great day, great man. Job. All right, Deborah in Kentucky. Kentucky woman. What's going on, Deborah? Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, Ben. Good morning. I just have to tell you, this is the first time I've ever called in, and that's not... That's not the issue, but I just want to acknowledge you for being the best of the best teachers that wow. I've ever listened to in my whole life. That's awesome. Thank you so much for saying that. I appreciate it. How long have you been listening? Years. Oh, really? So you're just one of the, one of the silent folks out there who's out there listening. Because I never know. You know, yeah. people depend on I never know who's out there listening. So I appreciate you saying that. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Well, I, I'm one of them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so okay. much. Two so real basic um, questions. Yeah. Just just recently, I tried the Z Radical for the first okay. time and got a bottle for my daughter that is, has an eight month nursing baby. Okay. And she needed to be reassured about whether if there's anything in there um, that might be too strong to uh, affect the child. Like I was wondering a little bit. She's um, feeding it directly to the baby, the Z Radical. No, just that she'd be taking it. And, and then, then it comes out in the milk. Comes out in the breast correct. milk. Oh, yeah. it's awesome. It's totally awesome for the baby. Totally, 100% awesomeness. It's got these things called polysaccharides and, and proteoglycans, these sugar compounds that are incredibly important for baby's health. Now, well, hang on. We'll finish up when we come back because we've got to take a quick commercial. Thanks, Deborah. Don't go away. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a commercial break and come back with more of your phone calls right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the bright side, 844-236-6010. We're talking to Deborah in Kentucky about the Z-Radical. Hello, Deborah. I'm, I'm here. Yes, the, the Z-Radical and the Fucoid Z are sources of, of something called Fucoidin, which is wonderful for the blood. Uh, it's, a, it's a type of chemical that's a complex sugar type of thing. And breast milk is loaded with these things, loaded with these natural sugars, packed, because they're very important for baby's growth, for the growth and the, the uh, proliferation of the bacteria that live in the gut. They're super-duper important. A couple of things, though. I would do the, the Fucoid Z rather than the Z-Radical because you don't get any sugar with the, with the Fucoid Z. The Z-Radical is more like a beverage or, you know, like a tasty sweet drink. With some, right. with some Fucoidin in it. But the Fucoid Z is just the straight stuff, the straight Fucoidin. And that's really the good stuff right there. So I would be doing that. And, yes, it's absolutely great for the baby. Look out or be vigilant to watch for digestive problems at the baby. Sometimes putting poly, these kinds of uh, complex sugars into the baby all at once may cause some, gap, some kind of bloating or digestive discomfort. I don't think that will happen, but just kind of watch out for that. Do, do you think, like, if she started with a tablespoon yeah. in her water bottle and sipped on that, I'm talking no, about... No, wait a minute. I thought you said it was coming up through breast milk. You, you're saying give it directly to baby is what you're talking about? No, I'm talking about if my daughter isn't, uh, like, taking a whole dose at a time, that it might might be a softer... Um, it won't really matter. It's pretty, the, it's pretty non, it's pretty gentle stuff. There's really very little problems. I'm just saying be vigilant, kind of watch for it. If that does happen, yeah, a smaller dose would help. Okay. But some of the other nutrients that are in the Z radical is why I ordered that for her, like a little gentle detox for the liver. And then it's I just the sugar in there. The sugar is just not, you know, everything you need is in the Fucoid Z. What, what, is there something in the Z radical that's not in the Fucoid Z? 
don't have the answer for that. I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. I think you'll oh, get everything okay. you... Yeah, I, I think, see. So they're making a taste good. Yes, they make it taste good. They make it so, you know, it's like a delicious drink. But from a nutritional standpoint, and it is a delicious drink, by the way, but from a nutritional standpoint, it's the Fucoid Z that you need. Okay. And then it is um, the Z radical... Was that a complete B complex that was in there? Do you know or remember? Ah, uh, I don't. But you get plenty of uh, your daughter will get plenty of the Bs in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Okay. Okay. And then the other thing that I'm gonna switch to um, was the Bergamax. Oh yeah, that's. Does, does that need to be ordered? That's separate. Go to BrightSideHealth.com for the Bergamax. Bergamax. Okay. Order it off the website instead yep, right of. Order it as a distributor, ordering on No, the that's not a longevity product. That's mine. That's oh, actually awesome. my personal formula. Yeah, that's my, my formulation. That, that's a, actually, it's my product. It's on uh, brightsidehealth.com and it's independent from longevity. Brightside Health is independent from longevity. Okay, now I got okay. that straight. Thank you Okey-doke. so much. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks for the kind words. I appreciate it too. All right, take care. Okay, let's go to Melody in California. What's up, Melody? Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, good morning. I'm calling on behalf of my husband. He's always been one of those who sleeps like a rock. Okay, that's a good thing. Through. Yeah, but something's changed in the last couple of months, and oh, he yeah? hasn't changed his schedule or anything. He'll sleep, he says, he goes like at 10 and wakes up about one thirty, and then it's just like this. Can't fall back asleep, huh? Until six. Yeah, Guess what? So I don't know. You are, you're experiencing one of the major effects of cortisol, which we've been talking about. Have oh. you been listening to Okay. Have you been, that, yeah, means something's yeah. go, that means something's going on in the body. It's not unusual as we get older for cortisol to accumulate until it reaches this threshold. And older folks tend to have higher amounts of cortisol. They shouldn't necessarily, but they do. Uh, so look for something that's putting a burden on the body that's kind of, uh, uh, that's gone into a tipping point. Like he may have had this burden going on, but then all of a sudden a straw that breaks the camel's back kind of thing. So lowering blood mm-hmm. sugar is, I would start with lowering, well, I would start with just calming the body down with breathing and relaxation strategies, and then also uh, watching out for blood sugar, keeping the blood sugar down. Elevated blood sugar long-term can cause cortisol to spike. Uh, and then also, if he has any digestive issues, correcting those as soon as, he can, as, soon as possible. Uh, that will also help calm the cort- lower the cortisol. But that's what it sounds like. Cor- cortisol is usually the hormone that's involved when you either can't sleep but you want to sleep or you wake up in the middle of the night and you... And you uh, and you uh, can't go back to sleep. You might also try a little bit of protein before you go to bed. That can keep the blood sugar okay. stable through at night. And also some blood sugar stabilizing nutrients sometimes help. Things like the electrolytes before he goes to bed, a little Beyond Tangy Tangerine. That might help too. Uh, some folks will get a little energy from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, so you want to watch out for that. But if that doesn't occur, that can help stabilize things for the middle of the night. Uh, I've, I've also experimented, and somewhat successfully, not 100% successfully, but somewhat successfully with lecithin before uh, patients go to bed. So you may do a little bit of lecithin granules in water before you go to bed. Okay? Or okay. have him do it do you think it? Okay. Do you think it's anything related to adrenals? Because in the past yeah. he was told Yes, ma'am. That. Yes, ma'am. That's your adrenals equal cortisol. Cortisol is made in the adrenal glands, absolutely 100%. It involves the adrenal glands, and if he's already been told that, that means there's probably something else going on in there, and that is just more reason why you want to do everything that I just told you to do. You might also throw in some nutrients for the adrenal glands too, by the way. Zinc is very important for the Mm -hmm. adrenal glands, 50 milligrams a day of zinc. DHEA can be helpful for the adrenal glands, a little tricky because that's a hormone, maybe 10 milligrams a day of that, but that's a little bit trickier than just straight nutrients. Vitamin C is very important for the adrenal glands. Vitamin B12 is important for the adrenal glands. Vitamin B5, which is pantothenic acid, one of the less known B vitamins, is important for the adrenal glands. Those are all things that you might want to concentrate in addition to the other things we talked about, calming the body down, stabilizing blood sugar, and such. All right, super. Thanks so okay. much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, talk to you later. Where okay, are you in California? You are you in uh, Northern um, California? Bay Area. Oh, you're in the Bay Area. I okay. tried to go to your event in Sacramento, but it was sold out or there weren't enough. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Well, I'll, be yeah. out. I'll be out there again, I'm sure. I love it out there. Okay, okay. I hope so. Take care. Thanks, okay. Melody. Take Bye-bye. care. Bye-bye. Okay, let's go to my buddy, the Truth Raider. Good morning. Good morning, Carl, the Truth Raider. You're going to get the hey last there. word. we got about a minute left or two minutes left. Okay. What's going on? All right. Actually, almost three okay, minutes yet. Yeah, okay. So let's hurry up right through this. i got the okay. soap of urine again. 
anyway, <laughs> it's the urine. But hey, you were talking about this earlier about you wishing that these doctors would call you and discuss about all these stuff. Yes. Drug stuff. Yes. yes. But yes. there was yes. one called you. There was one that did call you five years ago. And I remember yeah. that. It's in the archives okay. of another show. Yeah. And his name was yeah. Dr. Mike out of out of Wyoming. And he, you guys didn't go anywhere. You didn't want to argue with him at the time. And he said, what was yeah, he saying? I don't remember this. Yeah. I told you. I, was it on this show or was it another show? No. He was on another show that you were sitting in. I was like being interviewed. I was sitting in or I was sitting in? Sitting in. Sitting in. You're, and, I was in so remind us. Show. Remind me and the listeners. What did we say? How did it go? Because I don't remember. Well, he called in. He says, "Well, it, you know, you say a few things there that that, that uh, about the medical model and et, et cetera, and you really don't have the credentials to be doing." Oh, so. really? I oh, wonder. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And, it's, and, it's, <laughs> and, and he said, "You said a certain thing." Well, no, I've never said anything like that. I never said anything like Will that. Will you send me a link? Do you have a link to that? Yes, I do. Uh, I can send it to a, to a show link. Yeah, it was several years ago. But it's, yeah, please send that to me because I don't remember that. I probably tuned that out. Uh, yeah, it was about five years ago. Okay, all ago. right, all right. Well, I still want anyway. that's a standing invitation. Anybody out there listening, I would love to have you come on. We'll talk cholesterol and cortisol and the medical model if you like. What else you got yeah. for us there, yeah. Truth Raider? Magnetic resonance imaging. What are the yeah. dangers of that? You know, you're playing with the electromagnet. Anytime you start monkeying around with the uh, the electromagnetics, the electromagnetics of the body, have, you know, there's we are electromagnetic. We talk chemistry on this program all the time, but basically the chemistry works because of electromagnetics. So when you use imaging techniques that that shoot or change or modify your electromagnetics, I mean, I've never seen any studies on what the long term effects are, but. It seems like it's not a great thing. On the other hand, sometimes you need to have diagnostics. So at least it's not x-rays, you know, but still, it's a magnetic field, a powerful magnetic field, and it's also radio waves. Uh, it's not a good thing, but sometimes you need it, you know? If you need to know where something is, something's going wrong in your body, the diagnostics is really... Uh, there's, a, there's a time when you need diagnostics. If you tear up your knee... You got to know what's going on in there, whether you need a surgical procedure or not, and MRI is a way to go. It's way better. I, th I, I don't know for a fact, but it seems to me, based on what's, what it's doing, it's way better than an x-ray, which is clearly a big, huge, yeah. huge mutation in genetic problems. Uh, yeah, cause, can cause mutations in genetic problems. All right, Truth Raider, right, thanks it. for your call, buddy. Will you send me that link? Don't forget, okay? Text it or email it to me. Okay, thanks so much. All right, take care, buddy. All right, that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products. And if you want to sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team, click on the Join the Team link or call 866-735-2470 for more information. And also, please check out our Truth Treatment products if you're looking for truth, if you're looking for skin health products that really make a difference on your skin, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.